That helped. So I'm gonna read most of it. You don't have to forgive me. But um I know you all know me as like a pretty stoic, unemotional guy, <laughs> calm and collected. Um a guy with a mentality as rock hard as his physique. <laughs> so yeah, forgive me for shattering your world views, but I do have like some emotion and heartfelt words to say tonight. Um, fuck. Yeah. Nice, man. Um, it's a toast for a long time, incredibly generous member of the club, a great guy, uh, Bob Reitzel. Um, I, I'm sure most of you have heard, uh, he's fighting cancer right now. Um, he's, he's facing his final days. He's, he's at his home, uh, just a couple blocks away. Um, for those of you who know Bob, I'm sure you've got fond memories and a lot of great stories. Um, many of them from right here at the club on the, on the doubles court. I was thinking about him today, front row, right in that corner. <laughs> Yeah, man. He would have been, he would have been there, big smile on his face, and I can, I can hear his words, you know, after a real long rally, wow, those guys are really good, <laughs> you know, like he always, oh, fuck, man. Hey, you feel um, great. Yeah, he would have said it for Ty and I for sure. <laughs> um, and believe it or not, like you look around the room tonight and this place is packed. But it wasn't always like this here. Um, Manny and I joined together. My buddy Mike, he's not here. He couldn't make it tonight. But we joined this club. 2005. 2005. Um, and uh, when we joined, there were less than 80 full-time members here. Another hard-to-believe fact is that when I joined, I was not universally liked. <laughs> but, but Bob... Mike has always had a soft spot for misfits, and and he, him and I just took to each other. Um, we bonded over our love of pretty women and and pot smoking. <laughs> uh, you know, Bob didn't introduce me to the herb, but he certainly taught me a few things about it. Um, Namely, and you guys probably remember this, how to jerry-rig the dryer downstairs so that on the on those cold winter days we could blow right out, right out of the dryer. Um, we only did it on a full load once. Uh, we learned our lesson. We learned our lesson. Uh, Bob was famous off the court, for sure, uh, and he was also quite an athlete. He played on a number of teams when I was captaining the um, the doubles league. Um, including a, a band I felt it, it, it's kind of fitting that we, me and Ty had that epic collapse here tonight uh, because I remember one year we were, we were, we made it down to the finals at the cricket club. We were up 2-0. We had, um, it was me and Lee Carpenter. Bob was there and we, we choked and lost that one. Uh, I, I kind of think that was the night Cadman that you were you were down there, you took a bus down, you puked out your teeth, Bob found them in the bushes. I, I've never seen a guy puke out his teeth, and I've never seen another guy reach in bare hand and pull him out. Hey, that was Bob. Hey, that was Bob. Hey. I remember that. I remember that. That was a great night. That was a great night. That was a good night. That was a great night. Um... Bob also had a lot of success. Uh, it was, I think it was like the first, the first time we rekindled the Oktoberfest tournament. He had a, he carried a mediocre, mediocre partner. We'll, we'll leave it there. Carried him all the way to the finals. And uh, is Taller still here? <laughs> hey! Hey! Taller had match ball on his racket laid down like a Broman-esque drop to the left corner. Bob Reitzel's mediocre partner, Jeff Deverell, <laughs> dove, dug that ball out, saved match point. They came back to win it that, that very first year. I have never seen Bob with a bigger smile on his face oh, yeah. than that night. He was a competitor. He is a competitor, uh, truly. And, um, and he's asked, he's asked, 
that we rekindle the trophy and get yes. his name on the box. <laughs> we are going to do, do that. that. Yeah. Yeah. I got I got a lot more tales about Bob, and I'm sure all you guys do too. Oh, I got but I few. think it's I think it's best, it's safest if we save them until after the camera is off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love them. I love them. I love them. Uh, I'm gonna finish not with with a story, but but an observation. Um, <laughs> got this all good. <sighs> Roma, you stud. In all the years I knew him, oh. I honestly can't remember him ever being a dick or rude. He never had a negative thing to say about anyone. Um, no, no bad takes, no pessimism. He was the, the most optimistic person I know. He's always embodied an optimism that, that most of us can't even fucking fake. Um, and it's that, yeah, like, he's given me a lot of lessons over the years, but it is that one that I'm, I'm hoping I can, I can really learn from. Um, and I really admire that he's taken on death the same way that, that he took on life head first. And with a hearty laugh and a smile. And to the weed. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.